हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर एट एयर एंडियर इन अर्लियर टू वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द एटमोस्फियर इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एयर कंपोजिशन ऑफ एयर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एयर एंड नाउ इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाटर एंड डिफरेंट वेज टू सेपरेट इम्प्यूरिटीज फ्रॉम वाटर so here basically we are going to discuss the uh, uh, how to separate impurities which is mixed in water by uh, different processes so water about 75% of earth is covered by water in the form of ocean river ponds lakes etc but very less amount of water is fit for human consumption that is potable water we not only drink water but it is used for several other purposes like cooking washing irrigating the plants producing electricity etc water is being polluted by throwing waste into the water oil leakage by water transport poisonous gases and chemicals which makes the water unfit for use the substance that makes the water unfit for use are called impurities now we all know there are water is being polluted they are not safe for drinking so how we are able to uh, separate the impurities from the water impurities are of two types in water they are soluble impurities and in soluble impurities now what is soluble impurities all those impurities that can dissolved in water are called soluble impurities example salts and many other chemicals are mixed into the water and if we are drinking that type of water then it is very hazardous for our health very dangerous for our health now second type of impurities is insoluble impurities so what is insoluble all those impurities that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble impurities example mud sand etc now different ways to separate impurities from water so removal of insoluble impurities insoluble impurities can be removed by using following method that is sedimentation decantation and filtration you must be knowing what is sedimentation in this method a mixture of water and insoluble impurities are allowed to stand undisturbed in a container for some time so what will happen after some time the heavy insoluble impurities settle down at the bottom of the container this layer of impurity is called sediment and the process of settling down of impurities at the bottom is called sedimentation second is decantation after sedimentation when all the sediments are settling down in the container the clear water is poured gently into a separate container without disturbing the sediment of impurities is called decantation you can see in the picture so when the all the sediments is settled down without disturbing the set, uh, sediments very gently we have to pour the water in other container and the pouring of water in other container is known as decantation the third method method is filtration in this process a filter paper act like a sieve and water is passed through it now how filter paper is used as a sieve you can see in the picture first we will take a filter paper it is round mostly then we will fold it half and again half and then three parts we will take in one hand and then a cone like structure will be there and this cone like structure will be kept in the funnel and the through this filter paper water will be uh, poured into it what happened the impurities remain in the filter paper and clean water collects in a flask behind it the sand does not pass through the filter paper or whatever the impurities are there all will collect in a in the filter paper 
this, uh, the sand does not pass through the filter paper and remains behind and this is called residue whatever impurities will be there it will be sieved in the filter paper and that part is known as residue the clear water which is collected in the beaker below the funnel is called filtrate and the method of purifying water with the help of filter paper is known as filtration now removal of soluble impurities soluble impurities can be removed by following two method that is evaporation and distillation what happen in soluble suppose mm, we are uh, putting sugar in the water and we are boiling it after boiling so much all the water will evaporate and sugar will be settled down in the form of crystals in the container so what will happen here in this method the solution containing soluble impurities like salt or sugar is heated after some times water gets evaporated means it changes into steam and the impurities are left behind here what is the impurities sugar and salt is are the impurities by this method only salt is made in the mm, sea near the sea and or, uh, oceans so evaporation process is this second is distillation process what happen in distillation it is a purest form of water which is which we get after distillation in evaporation water mixes into the air in the form of water vapor and only impurities are left behind but in distillation both the impurities and pure water are obtained in distillation impure water is heated in a flask on heating the water it changes into steam and impurities are left behind in the flask the steam passes through the condenser here it cools and changes into water again distilled water is the purest form of water and this water is used in car batteries science experiments and in medicines so jab pani bhav ban kar ke udne lagta hai usko hum log dusre container mein कंडेंसर के थ्रू इकट्ठा कर लेते हैं एंड दैट वाटर विच इज कम विच इज विच वी गेट आफ्टर द इवापोरेशन इज द प्योरेस्ट फॉर्म एंड इट इज नोन एज डिस्टिल वाटर प्योर वाटर सो यू कैन सी हियर द वेपर आफ्टर द बॉइलिंग द वेपर इज कलेक्टेड इन दिस ट्यूब and the, all the vapor again changes into steam and it changes into vapor water again and distillate in the form of distillate now purification of drinking water now by the process of uh, sedimentation decantation and filtration the water we get is in the it is not in the pure form to drink it is only clean water but to make it for the drinking purposes we have to do something so impure water is harmful to us and leads to many diseases so we must drink pure water we can purify water by using following method so what are the methods boiling chlorination and water purifier so boiling water is heated for 10 to 15 minutes boiling kills the germs which is present in the water and makes the water pure it is the simplest way to purify water second method is chlorination adding of chlorine tablets in water to kill germs and make pure is called chlorination so after rainy season when the water is very muddy many germs are also present in water that time we are using chlorine water or chlorine tablets to kill the germs which is present in the water so that we, we can make it pure for drinking purposes also in swimming pool and all um, chlorine water or chlorine tablet is added to kill the germs third is water purifier which is very much popular nowadays uh, with the help of electric electric water is purified Uh, and in most of the houses ro water purifier is used so these are the uh, 
प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉर द ड्रिंकिंग पर्पसेस बॉइलिंग क्लोरिनेशन एंड प्यूरिफाइंग वाटर ना वाटर फाउंड इन डिफरेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ वाटर इज नॉट फिट फॉर डायरेक्ट कंजम्पन इट नीड्स प्यूरिफिकेशन बिफोर बींग पम्प्ड फॉर डोमेस्टिक पर्पसेस टू टाउन एंड सिटीज दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ प्यूरिफिकेशन इन्वॉल्व सेडिमेंटेशन फिल्ट्रेशन एंड क्लोरिनेशन in this picture you can see the water from the above you see left side above the water from the river is mm, collected in some place then uh, water treatment chemicals are used to remove um, iron suspended solid or uh, hardness from water in this waste water treatment what happens the removal of other contaminants such as oils phosphate heavy metals are removed so coagulation kya hai coagulation is the in this process chemicals are used to remove iron suspended solids and organic organic color hardness from the water then the process sedimentation happen in which the water is sediments and then this process after this process water is filtered you can see in the picture it is filtered and then this infection means chlorine is chlorination is there a chlorine tablet or chlorine water is added so that all the germs can be killed now this after this infection the water is stored in the water pumps you must have seen this type of pumps are there so water is stored and from here the water goes to our comes to our houses so this is the purification process which happens it starts from the uh, collecting of water from the river and through different processes it comes to our houses so this is all about water now this chapter is over so what you have to do you have to do uh, exercise part from your textbook all the answers are given here so complete all the exercise part afterward i will make i will write the question answer and make a file and uh, give it to you all so till then bye have a good time thank you